look at what has arrived. I decided to pick this up about an hour from my place, saved about 250 bucks in shipping. They put it on, on my pickup and actually parked the, the truck here and then slid it onto this table. So this piece of machinery weighs, I think, uh, I think it's like 775 total. I, um, it doesn't weigh that much in real life. This is a number five uh, fly press. I'm really excited to get into the shop. So I just uh, undone, undid, unscrewed, whatever, four screws from the top. So let's see. We can all look together for the first time. I feel like Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. Look at that. Or Raiders of the Lost Ark, not Temple of Doom. There it is, number five fly press. The wood actually smells pretty darn good. This is stout. Holy crap. I'll have to look it up, but I think it weighs four or five hundred pounds. Probably closer to five. And I almost bought the number four, but just for a little bit more money, I'm getting a lot more machines, so I got the number five. And I bought it from blacksmithing supply dot com. Okay, I'm gonna take more of this crate apart and we'll get another look. I'll tell you what, this was one well put together crate. Lots of little nails. So this is what it looks like. Um, looks like blacksmithsupply.com supplied a 19 millimeter combination wrench. There's the flywheel on top and its handle. And then the brand is Karachi. So there we go. Next step that I need to do is I uh, need to finalize my, my table designs. Something that'll withstand the weight of the fly press and will, will also withstand the the uh, torsional stresses um, as this is in operation. It's going to put a lot of twisting force on the on the base, and it needs to be uh, strong enough to withstand that. And I haven't decided if I'm going to bolt it to the floor uh, or not. If I don't, the whole the whole stand is probably going to bounce around the shop or slide around. So I'm probably going to anchor it into the into the floor. So it stays put. Okay. Uh, also new to the shop, boy, I think it took about six months to get this in. Um, I finally got the my heat treat oven. Uh, ordered this at the end of winter, uh, early spring, and uh, it was built. I think the build date's July 26th. Um, so last month, they built it and shipped it right 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 out to me after they built it. But it took took a while. Okay, this is going to turn into a, a shop tour. Um, I finished this little work table, put some spar urethane on it. Um, this is going to be my, my sharpening station. Excuse me. Um, I looked really hard at the Tormek uh, sharpening station. It was $800 versus $150. So I went with $150. That's a lot of money. Um, I think I think it's going to do what it needs to do um, and then um, if you've been watching the channel you probably know that I use French cleat all around the whole shop so right here I got a little station for uh, um, long blade for all the tools and jigs this is a short blade um, this is for these two are for scissors uh, straight blades like I believe chisels and planer blades this is for an axe and then this is a, oops, this is another Tormek jig. This is for small, small blade attachments. You put the handle in there and then clamp this up um, in the blade. And that gives you the clearance that you need to get to your 40, say, say you're doing a 40 degree bevel, it gives you the clearance to do that. Otherwise, it's too close and the, the bevel will be too, 
too much, like 60 degrees, it'd be too shallow. So, um, this is my little uh, mill drill station, a nice Precision Matthews PM728 Victor Tango. I'm going to actually move this. Um, I'm going to put the heat treat up in here on casters on another base that I have to build. And I'm going to move this mill over to kind of what's become <laughs> the, the machine shop corner. Um, it's going to go over here somewhere. Sort of a mess. Um, you've probably already seen my new Logan lathe, so that's there. It's on three-phase power right next to the Silex 7 um, CNC vertical machine mill. So, yeah. Almost done. I am almost done with the shop. Um, the heat treat oven and the the Tormec, sorry, not the Tormec, and the fly press. Those were probably the last two big purchases. Um, let's, let's move over here real quick. So in this corner, this is kind of like my grinding corner. I've got the the TW90 for uh, doing all my grinds. I've got a whole a little coffee can full of all these little blades that I that I started and, and never finished. So now I don't have an excuse. I need, <laughs> I need to heat treat them and finish. Uh, right here, I've got a little grinder. It's pretty pretty smooth. Oh, it's unplugged right now. It's pretty smooth next to a buffing station. Um, I've got three of these stations. So this is a, a four by eight, so much stuff on it now, a four by eight steel table that I designed. And I like to have my, my table stuff, uh, my table open. Obviously right now, there isn't a square inch open. So what I did was underneath, um, I created kind of like a, uh, a toe hitch design where I've got a little, um, this little tube slides in here, locks in on a mounting plate. And I can, I can loosen those bolts and take this right off the table. So I've got one, two things, and then my wire wheel is also the same way. So little little shop hacks that help. So I, I like the, the fact that if anything can be movable or on on wheels, I'm gonna do it. So so okay. So <laughs> new fly press turned into mini shop tour. I am super excited uh, to receive this and to, and to get it set up. And then with the help of uh, a little analog blacksmithing and some more precision machining, I can't wait to make some tooling uh, for this. I'll probably start with a little tool holder to go into that RAM and then uh, start uh, making tools. I got some H13 metal for some, some of the bits I'm gonna make and I need to find a, a more economical um, flip this around. I need to find a, a more economical uh, solution for some of the, the, the big old, bigger uh, tools and dies and things that I want to make. Metal, wood, everything seems to, to cost so much money right now. Maybe I'll look into 4140 or something like that. But I uh, uh, hope you like this little video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for